Hello. And hello, thank you. Thank you for being here. I need to know more about parenting in the United States compared to Germany. I saw this video. You know, I did notice on the thumbnail it says freedom versus control. Which one's the freedom? I mean, it's got to be America, right? Land of the free. <laughs> so I assume they're talking about America there. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the wrong tab. I meant to go to. I was just doing some shopping. <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah. Parenting in Germany versus the United States. Montana Showalter. Show. Walter, I should say. Um, go check out her channel. Link down below. Let's watch. Let's see what she has to say. <laughs> Ciao. From clubs at 2 a.m. Parents picking their children up from clubs at 2 a.m. I was like, no way. Wait, the parents are at the club or the, the, the parents? Who's at the club? The kids or the parents? That'd have to be one hell of a fake ID. Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Montana and I was an exchange student in Germany this past year. Mm. Now I make a lot of videos on the differences between German and American culture. Uh, I'm finally moved. Oh cool. Okay, so she's American. So it is show Walter, not Walter. I wonder if she's from Man Montana. Into my dorm at the University of Virginia, which is why this background is so plain right now. Um, it's like a concrete prison wall, but mm. I'll try to be decorating it soon. It's just really hard, nothing sticks to it. So, pardon the that's definitely an American prison wall. Background I'm trying to find the best place. It looks a little rough to film today's video. No offense, my I'm just kidding, Montana. I'm going to be talking about the differences between parenting and the U.S. versus in Germany. Keep in mind, I only had like parents as a teen in Germany, so I don't know as much about the experience of a child growing up in Germany. Whereas but you in can the still U.S., I look definitely around. have like more knowledge. But just to start off, I think that children in Germany have so much freedom at a young age. It more freedom in the, than in the land of the free. Was insane to me. Like, just German parents give their children so much more freedom to do what they want. For example, German children play more alone a lot. And I was reading a few articles just to like make sure the points that I was making or the points that I've witnessed are true for more than just like the few examples that I saw while I was in Germany. It's definitely true that German parents aren't afraid to have their children go play alone and to be, say, a further distance away or maybe not even in view. Versus in the US, it's like a parent rule or like a babysitter rule that you have to be with your eyes on the child at all times. Hmm, that's interesting. Definitely as time goes on, each generation becomes more and more controlling of their kids. Is that not happening over there in Germany? Because it's very evident to me. I mean, with every new technological advance, it's like, oh, we now have, you know, GPS. Why not stick that on the children? Yeah, so we can track their every move. We have security cameras now. Oh, well, I'll put one in my child's car seat and watch him. I'll have it up on my iPhone. On my no, That's not an actual thing. That probably will be a thing. You know, you're driving down the road, you got to see, you got to look over. Instead of having the maps pulled up, you have your kid's face in the car seat. Is he choking? Is he choking on air? No, no. Is the seatbelt too tight? Anyway, it's been getting a lot worse. I can tell you that for sure. Because when my parents were kids, I, 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 I don't even know if they had parents. They, they have stories where they're just like going to the bar at five years old, smoking a cigarette outside on the curb. So they almost feel like they're being watched. The next point that brings me to is playgrounds in Germany and Europe. So there was this video, I believe it was by Vox. I can link it down in the comment section below. Mm -hmm. But it was on how Americans have just made their playgrounds so safe that children don't benefit from playing on them really. That's the other thing I was going to say. It's, it's all about safety. It's all about safety and all the stories in the media of kids getting kidnapped and stuff over the years have really, because every time that happens, it's like a huge story and people have just become paranoid and terrified to let their kids out of their sight. 
and you can see it in slides being totally enclosed in like soft plastic versus open and metal and like everything is just <laughs> that's funny am i even going down the slide i can't tell i can't see anything but plastic <laughs> oh i'm at the bottom okay i must have gone through it it's designed for safety there's a million railings and such but playgrounds in Europe are considered more dangerous, but the children actually learn more from these dangerous playgrounds. And let me tell you, this is the truth. In Passau, which is where I lived, there was this playground downtown, and I have never been on like a playground and been so scared. It, and I am, I was 17, so I cannot imagine a five or six year old climbing on this playground. It was like strings that made up this web almost, and these wooden and metal platforms, and then like. It sounds way more fun. Pretty much danger and fun are directly correlated as a kid for a kid's playground. So I am. My child self is very jealous of the German kids. You could climb to the top, but then it was really hard to get back down to the bottom. I'll try to find a picture of one similar to it, but I got so scared. I think my friend like helped me. You're not even wearing a helmet? <laughs> no shin pads. Me off of it because I was so scared of it. That was definitely a culture shock for me. I was I mean, okay, so if I'm analyzing this, this, this looks similar to an American playground, except for this part where there's like a rope bridge that would not fly here that would not fly because that is too dangerous like you know you could slip through of course and fall onto the sand you might get a little sand burn a little scratch god forbid um but yeah the rest i can't really tell what's going on here it looks fun it looks a little taller than a typical american playground but this really sticks out to me is this rope bridge because i was so scared of it I was which would be the most fun part like i was saying like a culture shock for me i was like wow these playgrounds look a little scary where are the bright <laughs> colors of slides and play toys it was still really fun and whenever i went in the city or like walked by that area there were always so so many children on the whole climbing gym. Another aspect of independence that Germans tend to give their children is allowing them to ride the bus or like get to school on their own. In the US, kids do ride the bus to school. However, it is... I was gonna say, yeah, you ride the bus alone. The school bus. A, it's a school bus. It's one of those big yellow school buses that you think of when you think of yeah. the US. Is that not what we're talking and about? And so it's not the same as in Germany. In Germany, Wait, we're talking about a just a normal bus? The kids just get on the bus alone? They're responsible enough to know when to get off? How old are we talking? Like, wow, that's, that's, yeah, that's different. Germany, I would see like fifth graders on the actual bus because they don't have school buses. They just use their regular bus system to. They don't have, you, you guys don't have school buses. The more you know get to school so there are adults getting to work there's elderly people riding the bus and there's children that is just fascinating the kids use just the normal bus on it and i just felt like in there is no normal bus here in america like you couldn't do 90 percent of kids wouldn't be able to get to school on the bus on a normal bus because there is no normal bus <laughs> like only in the cities in the U.S., people would be so scared to send their children on a city bus. It was crazy for me to see such young children riding the bus alone because it was taking me a long time to figure out how to ride the bus. Um, albeit, it was not my home language or my mother tongue. That would so help. if it was in English, I'm sure that it would have been a little bit easier mm -hmm. for me. But then again, the children are learning how to use the bus system at such a young age and parents see that it's very safe and nothing's gonna happen to their child, so. Mm. Another thing that I found is that American parents care more about really focusing on what their child is doing and like striving for their child to be the best. And this has kind of come to a term called- If you're not first, you're last. Helicopter parents, because it means that they helicopter around the child 24 seven and- <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it means they like they got watched. Like whether the kid knows it or not, mom is. I wouldn't be surprised if they're coming out with some kind of drone that the mom can actually just sit there. <laughs> Do you guys hear that? Must be a bee's nest. No, it's just mom are always trying to control what they do. Just some examples of this are that I have a ton of friends whose parents are always controlling what they do. They won't let them go out a lot. Like just, they won't let them go out to just hang out with their friends sometimes. They're making sure they do their homework even if they're in 10th, 11th, 12th grade. They're making sure they're studying for exams and forcing them to do all these clubs they want because they want their child to be so smart and get into the best college. Okay, so now we're talking about something a little bit different. We're talking about like, you're, she's saying that as a high school student in Germany, kids are more independent, more self-reliant. You don't have mom telling you to do your homework. Interesting, okay. So they're more responsible, evidently or university just a very crazy practice because i felt like in germany a lot of my friends were studying because they wanted to and they had the pressure on themselves to get good grades i never really asked my friends too much i wonder why like how do you how do you change that in the culture how do you because hmm. some people have that naturally where they are the ones you know studying or whatever because they want to improve themselves. But other, ki other kids, we're talking about, you know, 17, 16 year olds, just don't. They're too. And there's too many of them to where you can't just let all the kids do whatever, whatever they want because <laughs> there would be a lot of flunk outs. But I feel like there's not a lot of flunk outs in Germany. Was their parents putting pressure on them? I just know that at least for like my host family and my host sister, that sense of wanting to study and wanting to get good grades was very independent and not pressurized. I wonder if you guys know what the word flunk means. Not put on to the child because of the parents' ideas, but also like that's kind of how I was. I think that parenting in Germany is more generalized there. More parents act the same versus in mm. the U.S. parenting can range so much. Yes. Like, you have parents who do not care at all what you do. Mm -hmm. And then parents who control your... And those parents are um, typically not the parents you really want. They're typically like uh, might be on drugs. <laughs> if they're not caring at all what you do. Your whole life. So, and then you have the extremely strict parents. Yeah, huge range. I could totally be this way in Germany and let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below. In the US, some of my friends' parents did not say at all like what they could and could not do. They just there's all these methods and theories for how to teach how you should be a parent in America. All these competing ideas. In fact, there's some like TV show about parent. If you look it up, I don't know if it's on Netflix or something, like parenting techniques. It's a really stupid show, but it's funny. Where the parents like, oh, like we raise our kids like this. No, we don't ever tell them no. And then these other parents, you know, we always have a GPS tracker on them and, and know where they are. And we always, you know, get them ice cream every day. And the, you see which ones work best. It's It doesn't really, I don't know. It's just, it's a funny show. But yeah, there's a lot of different methods it would be it would be nice if there was just one standardized method everybody just used because then you wouldn't be getting judged just let them do whatever they wanted like didn't enforce if they got bad grades in school literally nothing i think my parents were kind of middle but towards that more section because they trusted what i did and gave me lots of independence and in return, I just wanted to learn better and I wanted to get good grades and be a good student on my own. So they never had to push me to do that. And then far other spectrum is that some kids' parents did everything for them. Like some children and friends that I know, their parents have actually done projects and homework assignments to turn in for them because oh they God. wanted them to get a good grade. That's just crazy to me. Yeah, you always know when the parents have, like, helped or, like, <laughs> they bring in a poster that's way too nicely organized. Like, the, the, 
the the boy that clearly has no organizational skills brings in this poster that's all glittery and like perfectly framed and oh the handwriting doesn't look like slop for some reason you know clearly mom helped out on this one because what are they learning they're not learning anything the main overall point mm -hmm. to this is that in germany the motto would be that independence equals responsibility so giving your children independence is in return going to make them more responsible personally i agree with this this opinion but one of the interesting things about this is these words like freedom responsibility independence these are three core values and this is kind of like taking it uh, uh kind of i don't know taking it in a different direction but I just can't help but think about those are three core like values, like typical things talked about by conservatives here in America, like the right wing freedom, personal responsibility. Um, so it's so interesting how. And obviously, these are good things. I don't think anybody would say these are bad things. Freedom, personal responsibility. These <laughs> anybody would agree. But um, it's interesting how those here in America are mostly like right wing things. Yes, you must be personally responsible for what you do. But over there in Germany, you guys are obviously more liberal. And yet you still have the freedom and the personal responsibility. And am I making sense here? It's interesting. I still see many benefits to the American way and just... I think it's normal, at least how we're raised in America, to want your child to succeed. And a lot of parents don't realize that they're being controlling because they just want what's best for their child. My maybe another part to it, she just made me think, maybe the reason parents are so helicoptery in like high school here and you know you need to make sure your child is doing good is because they're not getting into college if they're not doing well. And they're not getting any scholarships if they're not doing really good. So it's kind of like a financial incentive. Like you need to, you're like, you're gonna make sure your child does good one way or another, because you can't afford college if they don't do good. Last point with teens. Maybe that's a small factor. In Germany, because this is where I had the most experience, so to say, parents are much, much, much less strict with like partying, with drinking, and with cl Much less strict in Germany? Where I had the most experience, so to say. Parents are much, much, much less strict with like partying, with drinking, and with clubbing, and going out, that topic, just because- In Germany? First off, it's, it's legal, it's not illegal, so it would be a little harder for them- Okay, we're talking about Germany. So we're talking about the kids going clubbing. Um, okay. To say no, uh, versus in the U.S., parents are like, no, 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 because you could get arrested and it is illegal. But parents want... Hmm, yeah. Illegal. I mean, it's not illegal to party. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know what kind of party doesn't have any alcohol. Is it even a party if there is no alcohol? That's a serious question. It's like a philosophical question. Is it? It's not illegal to party, but can you even have a party without alcohol? Want their children to be safe. Kids drink alcohol here, okay? They do. Safe if they're doing- Like 16, by the time p kids are 16, they're drinking. It's just, it is illegal, technically. Doing any of those activities, and they will like pick, they will pick their child up from a party, or they will let their child have a birthday party when they're turning 16 or 18 in their house so that it's controlled and they know that it'll be okay. I just thought that was really, really sweet of parents to do because they're just kind of showing their care for their children in a different way. And it also shocked me yeah. <laughs> to see like parents picking their children up from clubs at 2 a.m. I was like, no way. Yeah, that's, I don't even, I don't understand. What? The kids? Your parents let you go out to clubs at 2 a.m. while you're in high school? Okay. I mean, wow. You must be some responsible kids. 
there's basically no overlap here in America between kids that go out clubbing at 2 a.m. You know, they'd have to sneak in like with a fake ID and kids that do all their homework. <laughs> but it sounds like in Germany, there is overlap there. You have kids going clubbing at 2 a.m. and doing all their homework. Wow, how is it even possible? That was all that I have to say. I wanted to give a disclaimer here at the end that my parents were very, very relaxed when it comes to what they told me to do and what they didn't. So I can't speak on all American parents and same goes with my host parents. So if mm -hmm. you have a different situation and if your parents or parents you know are much different, then please feel free to let me know down in the comment section. Okay. I think she's, uh, I think we got, we got through that. That was an excellent video. Thank you very much, Montana. Go check out her channel. I mean, what can I say? I have to complete my purchase here, guys, as an American parent. This is an essential item. Not really. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching. That was fun. Always interesting. And, well, I don't know. Subscribe if you want to. Hey, if you stuck around for 21 minutes, I feel like you should, I don't know. I don't you know. Whatever. Subscribe if you want to. <laughs> I'm never going to be like, you, you should subscribe. You need to subscribe, please. I don't know. But I will mention, hey, that is an option. Okay, anyway. What am I talking about? Jeez, there's probably no one left. Goodbye.